Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. This is Leanne from Resin Shine Creations and I hope you are all doing well. In today's video I have this uh, MDF board 30 times 40 centimeters large in size and I'll be creating estuary diorama. So I have uh, pre-drawn basic uh, lines for my estuary to be and uh, now I am using simple thin foil just to kind of create the shape of my land so after I can cover it with a sculpt mold and I don't have to use that much sculpt mold as I mentioned before, this is the land part and this piece is inspired from uh, English coastline. Uh, as you maybe know, I do live in Devon next to the sea and uh, it's really amazing uh, sights when uh, river meets the sea and uh, the coastline can be quite dramatic in these places so I kind of decided to recreate my own so yeah this is the other side I'm going with my little aluminium balls and I will add a little bit of glue just to make the make sure they stay in place when I'm adding sculpt mold. So I finished the one side and now I'm moving on to the second side and <clears throat> I'm not gonna lie, uh, it was a lot of work to cover it and uh, to place all the detail and I'm also in trying to incorporate a beach side with, with mountains and hills and fields and... Uh, it was my first time for this large scale of uh, 
uh, nature that I try to create and uh, it was a bit challenging but uh, I hope it's gonna come out nice and after I finish uh, adding the sculpt mode I let it to dry for a couple of days and uh, then it was part uh, to paint so once again I still experimenting with paints and this is how it went on Not gonna lie, uh, at this point I was looking at the piece and I absolutely hated it and uh, I thought that I just not gonna do it anymore and uh, leave it alone to be somewhere in the corner with my rest of unwanted pieces. But then I said, okay, let's try to add the, the greenery and see how it's gonna turn out then. So once I start to adding this um, grass or bushes or whatever they are, I started to again uh, like the piece and I felt that it might actually come out looking not too bad at all. So after I added these uh, shrugs um, that are mixed with uh, glue, I did also add a extra fine turf in places and it became uh, the piece came to life so after this uh, it's gonna be time to paint and uh, you'll see how it's looking then
Yay! Finally, I reached the resin part. So it means that the piece is nearly finished. So I'm adding here my colors and I will pour resin on my piece. And this time I gonna do, I think, two coats of resin and after I gonna finish by adding some heavy medium gel on top of the uh, resin just to make the water surface uh, to give that texture like a water. So here you see me making a wave texture for the piece. Uh, I combine these two ingredients. Uh, it is the first time that I'm trying out, but apparently uh, the gel is gonna dry uh, transparent and the snowflakes is gonna be the texture for the waves. So I'm starting by making a little tiny waves in a beach and just a little bit around the uh, surface just to give the feeling the water is moving.
And here it is, all finished and ready. And I even made this a floating frame for the first time by myself that I'm really proud of. And yeah, this is the finished piece. And I think it came out really neat. So if you found this video useful and entertaining, please let me know by leaving comment down below. But for now I'm saying goodbye, keep creating, until next time, bye!